For those of you that just joined us, welcome aboard our next stop. There's more to life than Newtown weather. Newtown Depot, please put smaller passengers away from the openings of the chain or main seat at all times. Keep all body parts inside. Our next stop, Skin Town. Okay, one more stop, girls. How much weight did you lose? 30 pounds. Wow. That's a lot. Good for you. You just ate differently and your mom, I think mom said you were eating. Yeah, eat less, exercise more. To those who just joined us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, remember to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please, watch your kids. I mean, my test results were not great, but they weren't like disastrous. I see. I mean, plus, I was over 200, but you know, the doctor wasn't all that concerned because my HDL was very high. Uh -huh. Just so he's, he's like. Was your LDL high? Yeah, they were both high, but it the wasn't. ratio was okay. The ratio is okay. And Exercise, especially running, is great because I can. Like, you can do it anywhere. You know, yeah, I can do it anywhere, and you know, I have flexibility to eat crap or crap the only option and yeah. not have to worry about it. More than a century ago, this area is so rich with natural beauty and wildlife. You can see why the early settlers were inspired to move west. You're seeing this view just like many of them did from the comfort of a genuine steam-powered train. When these iron horses first started crisscrossing the country in the 1800s, the time it took folks to reach the West dropped from months to a matter of days. My steam power not only fueled the trains, but the dreams of a whole new generation as they settled this great frontier. Speaking of the dreams of a whole new generation. What's that? Native American. Oh, okay. Not your dreams. Alright folks, we're now steaming our way into Mickey's Tomb Town Depot. This is going to be your gateway to Mickey's Tomb Town. Mickey's Tomb Town will be closing at 7.30 tonight in preparation for our fireworks show at 8.45. Weather permitting, once it closes, it will not reopen until tomorrow morning, so please 